Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. And today we are looking at the team of the week, limited time DeAndre Swift. And of course, make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I will fill out DeAndre Swift's final report. And thankfully, EA gave us another running back. At this point, Bo Jackson came out late August. We're almost through all of September, and this is our first. Besides Emmanuel Wilson, who's just a bad card, I mean, Bo Jackson's been the only other good running back we've seen this year. So it's good to see a fresh name, DeAndre Swift, 89 speed on my 25 out of 50 Lions team. Good COD, good break tackle. And if you did use the field pass DeAndre Swift from earlier this year, you know how this card's gonna play. He's gonna play very well, gonna play very solid. However, he doesn't have the power stats that Bo Jackson has. And also for the abilities, he does not get, you know, Apprentice or or even Bruiser like Bo Jackson's able to get. So that's the one thing about Swift that's a little bit different. But if you're gonna use Swift like a, you know, like an elusive back, he's gonna play great. He's gonna play fine. And I'm expecting a lot of things from this card. I mean, and if you did watch my earlier video, I did anticipate this card to be going for much cheaper than what I thought he was going to be going for. Even Chris Jones is still 500k. And my theory behind this is that EA just maybe played with pack odds because you saw it on Saturday with uh, Ray Lewis even where he's super, super expensive. And the same's happening with DeAndre Swift. I do think DeAndre Swift can get down to maybe high 700, especially tomorrow with Gridiron Guardians coming out. Swift and Chris Jones will still be in packs. So I do think his price will drop tomorrow just because more packs will be opened and more Swifts will be pulled. So it's just the way it works uh, but um yeah let's hop into the gameplay and let's see what 25 out of 50 deandre swift can do today the shout out of the day today goes to my man da hit stick for commenting the emoji of the day on last video if you want a chance to be shouted out in the next one let's comment the eagle emoji and of course if you want to do the channel hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications it is always appreciated all right, here we go. First touch for DeAndre Swift. Of course, you guys saw this coming. We have DeAndre Swift and Jamal Williams back in the same backfield. And let's see how he's going to play this. I'm not sure where his user is going to be. We should actually pick this up very well. Good rack animation for Swift. And there's that jukebox, man. So skippy, so beautiful. And man, I've been away from jukebox for a little bit, but I'm glad I have it back for this video because it is going to go crazy. It is going to go crazy. However, I do know that this guy is going to eventually probably just user this. I feel like this guy will stay stubborn in his blitz. And uh, probably not give Swift too many more opportunities just like that. But man, I love Swift cards, man. They always play well. Usually they do cheat his speed. But this card, speed was not cheated, man. 89 speed here on the squad. And again, he's just not outside like he should be. Swift's going to get a bad rack animation. We got, we got Jukebox, though. And Jukebox is usually good to make at least one guy miss. So there we go. Good start. And now let's, um, let's run the ball a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to go with here is the RPO read alert bubble, which is one of my favorite plays. And let's just run this ball with Swift here at the middle. I probably should have cut that back the way that the way that Lewis scene was kind of rolling. I probably could have cut that one back, to be honest with you. But let's see if we can get this one again. And again, hold snap. He's gonna crash again. We're gonna get a first down here at Swift. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that all day. I'm taking that all day. Swift's probably a little bit tired though. If I'm no, he's not that tired actually. He's okay. All right, this play might get blown up, but it's just a, it's just a normal 0-1 trap. And we actually hit the hole beautifully. Coming to cut it that way, actually, and it did actually pay off. Okay. I don't think I would have had that many yards if I cut it right there, but Swift is absolutely gashing this man's defense. And, and man, once I get an identifier, just know it's going to be a long day for my opponents, man. Once I get that identifier, he's not outside. Oh, he kind of was, to be honest. We get a bad rack. And, oh, Swift breaks the tackle. Okay, there we go, Swift. Way to be, man. Way to be. That, that's what I look for when he's running back gameplays. Yes, a lot of it's kind of small sample size, but uh, you can definitely see what a card can be, you know, in this small sample size. If he's making plays like that, it's a big W to me. Okay, so what I think is going to happen here is I believe he's going to come out in his cover, in his man probably blitz here. So I've only really ran the ball out of this formation. So with that being said, we're going to run the swing pass to Garrett Wilson instead. If we want to, we could actually just run it with Swift, get a little cutback, go Swift up the middle. And that run right there, the reason why that was so open was because he left the middle wide open. We're going to go RPO zone peak here, auto handoff. I'm going to try to die for this first down. If we don't get it, that would suck. He does run commit. We're not going to get this. Okay, he ran commit. Okay, all right. All right, let's play some defense. Great first drive for Swift, though. Uh, really good. Had some good broken tackles. Him with jukebox feels amazing. So, yeah, so far, so good for DeAndre Swift. Also, me, me having him on the theme to that little extra speed is really nice. So, let's play some defense. And I actually do have some new personnel on defense. I'm not sure if I actually put them in yet. Uh, yeah, they're not in the game yet, but I will put them in momentarily. Goes read option. I dare you to cut this back. Okay, he, he he did exactly that. Come here. Okay, I'm just trying to make I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make my fake fumble right now. Can we get a fumble? No energy. No. Okay. 
And yes, our new toy on defense is safety Jason Pinnock, who apparently had a good week this week for the Giants. Um, you know, six foot one stallion hit him. Okay, he's not really a good tackler, though. That's the one thing about this car that I'm a little bit weary about is that he can't tackle that well. So I might, you know, I might, I might move him around a little bit. This guy's only run the ball twice against us. So I want him to throw the ball so I can really feel Pinnock as the user. That goes back to the run, and we're good. That's why you keep Sean Taylor in the box, man, because he can tackle. All right, we're looking out for a streak. Can we get a pick right there with Eric Berry? You love to see stuff like that. Eric Berry interception. That couldn't have been on purpose. I don't think it really was on purpose. Maybe it was. I don't really know. But let's try getting back to the run here. With DeAndre Swift, man. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's see how he plays. This probably feels to me like I'm just a straight blitz. If it is that, pull that user out. Okay, there we go. Second level. Second level. Step on it. DeAndre Swift to the cock one time. There we go. We love to see that. And um, that's the speed right there, man. And a smaller back. Again, a smaller back. You can weave much better if you have good stick, man. I mean, this card's going to feel amazing. I think Bo really felt special just because of that jukebox um, and also his size combined. But Swift adds the shiftiness with his speed in the jukebox. He's faster than a lot of defenders. And jukebox makes you feel even faster. Jukebox, when you're in that jukebox animation, it feels like you got 97 speed for real. Okay, let's talk about if this card is worth it for his price tag. I don't think even on a theme team, I don't know if he's worth it. I, I just don't know. Is that plus one speed worth it for you? Um, instead of just getting Bo Jackson for 300k, I don't think so. So to me... DeAndre Swift for 900k is a oh, that's gonna be a pick there, but to me he's 100% not worth it. I, I'm gonna sell mine back right now, and um, I, I might not even use him on stream tonight just because I think his price is gonna drop that much. I think his price is gonna drop probably 200k to maybe 300k tomorrow, which seems a little crazy. But overnight, less people are gonna be on the game buying the card, um, and also a lot more will be in circulation. Again, team of the week, you know these team of the week drops. There's never usually um a bunch of uh, people that interact with team of the week for some reason even when there's good cards in it um there's never usually um, a lot of interaction there and again another good carry right there for deandre swift will take six yards all day and um let's see if he plays those let's give his run commit here uh, but yeah i don't think this card's worth it for that if he stays at 900k honestly i act, act, act like he's not even in the game at that point because that is ridiculous if, he, if he's going for that tyree kill turn that corner and the fact that gets such a slow rack animation right there is kind of nasty work he's gonna run commit here so we should actually have tyree kill for a good gain um let's see what he does he's gonna shoot that guy down in the flat it might be a straight wait what's what i gotta do here hold snap let's see if we get this okay we should get this first down and again we just still can't convert on fourth down today man <laughs> that's been the story on these shorter drives it's just we can't convert on fourth down i'm telling you this double post play just is such a headache for man to man it is so hard to guard and you can't really blitz against it either because of how the cross alignment works um, we could try playing zone against it and see how he likes it, but odds are we won't be successful. Look how we're cross manned right now. Like, what is going on over there? Goes to a run. We do stand him up right there with Big Cat. But one more stop and then one more drive with DeAndre Swift would be real nice. Here he goes over the middle. We shit. He wants the running back underneath him to get a pick. I mean, that was a crazy lurk. A crazy missed throw from his Mike Vick. Again, he's running that crazy man to man. I should I should have streaked Tyree Kill, but it's 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 actually number three here. We're going to have that open, sort of that back. Good. Oh, broke a tackle, Calvin Johnson down the sideline. Calvin Johnson down the sideline, and there we go. Okay, way to be Calvin. Two Tyree kill, two Calvin Johnson. But we have these guys on our team. And right there, that's, that's a prime example of why 5'8 is good. Just being able to slip through holes that aren't there on these bigger backs, man. And you guys see just how open the uh, corner outs are kind of getting against this guy right now because of how we've been playing him. We're going to blitz here, of course. We're going to take some out of the backfield. Um, good swerve right there inside on the pass lead. Cut that back. Cut that back again. I maybe should have just taken the sideline a little bit longer there. And I'm going to try taking a shot here to DeAndre Swift. The way this guy's been forgetting about the running back, maybe? We got life. Let's see. So Swift's, Swift's, Swift's open. I'm going to throw that over the top, and that should be a touchdown. There we go. He's been sleeping on the running back. Swift's too fast. Good pass catcher, and that's going to be a touchdown. And that's going to end this video, man. DeAndre Swift played a good game. Uh, besides a couple fourth down conversions, I love this card. Animated great. Played great. Speed felt good. Um, just to me, it's the lack of abilities and, the, and his price tag that hurts him a little bit, but he's still definitely top two in this game. Second best running back in the game. Bo is still number one to me. And for DeAndre Swift's final report, I'm going to give him 18 stars. DeAndre Swift to me is definitely RB2 right now in this game for sure. And like I've been saying, it's what this game needed. Another running back that we can use because everyone has Bo Jackson. But um, DeAndre Swift for physical, I'm going to give him five stars. Five stars, easy. Um, because of the build, five foot eight, two eleven, and also good speed, acceleration, COD, agility, and jumping. Checks all those boxes there. 
Four stats, it's gonna be four stars, not as well rounded as Bo doesn't have the power back stats that Bo Jackson has, so it's gonna be four stars for that. Abilities, kind of the same thing, doesn't get the same abilities as Bo Jackson, where, where you know Bo can run halfback apprentice, bruiser, and jukebox. Not all at once, but you have that choice for DeAndre. So if you're limited to, to just running jukebox, and then finally for animations card. You know, if, you, if you've used this card's field pass card, field pass upgrade, whatever that was, whatever you want to call that, you know, this card actually plays pretty solid. And I know some people that actually used them for a while longer than they probably should have because his because his previous card played so well. So DeAndre Swift, big W. If you definitely have an Eagles or Lions team, I'd say, I'd say go out there and pick them up. I'm not sure where this card's price is going to settle at, but if it's pretty close to the rental and you're kind of sick of Bo Jackson, I mean, give him a try. Maybe you'll like this card. I know he's, he's kind of, he's very different than Bo Jackson because he's much smaller I'm um, still elusive and still gets jukebox, but mainly the size is what's going to make this card feel a lot different than Bo Jackson. So let me know down in the comment section, are you adding Bo Jackson? I mean, not Bo Jackson. Are you adding DeAndre Swift to your team? And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.